We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Having this unnecessary beef all the time. I'm sick of it, bro. Yes, little guy? Hey, ready to swing? Whoa, cool job. Daddy, yes. You want to swing? You wanna swing? Yeah. Is, is it dangerous? No. Is it fun? Yeah. Do you have fun at daddy's house? Yeah. Do you love your dad? Yeah. Give me a high five. Yeah. Nice. You can like us both, okay, guys? Okay. You can like your mom, CJ. You can like me and your mom. Gatorade, boy. Look, y'all just seen it right there, natural as it can be. My boy don't even like his freaking mama, but I'm the one trying to make sure dad is not how it is. I try to make sure they know that they can like me and their mom because you know what? I'm just a good guy. Not only am I a good guy, I'm a great dad. And I don't need nobody to tell me that, but I would like for y'all to tell me in the comment section if you... Blessings upon blessings to each and every one of you. How are y'all feeling today? Well, as you know, what we got today, today in this class, what is it? class in session yes class in session where you guys are entitled to give your own thoughts and opinion on this novel that we've been well it's been how many long maybe two years already going on two years or one year i don't know y'all can let me know on the novel that we all the novel that we all be going through so like i say everyone thoughts and opinion on this topic are truly welcome i don't care what side y'all rock for y'all could be on the cj side y'all could be on the voice side but remember i'm not biased i'm unbiased just because y'all root for whoever y'all root for doesn't mean i have to agree with the hell y'all saying or well, i have to disagree or what y'all saying no i myself will respect each and every one of y'all thoughts and opinion and hopefully you guys on the comments down below could respect each and every one thoughts and opinion because like i said it's my commentary and i give it how i give it the way i want to as we all know by now cj so cool and royalty has been co-parenting the kids they share with each other one week cj has the kids one week royalty have the kids because as we speak they are going through trial they are going through trial for the babies we all know that, that they're going through trial for the babies but it seems like they cannot come to an agreement when it comes to co-parenting. So I think that's the reason why they're going to trial. Because I heard CJ want some CJ want full custody of the babies. And Royalty is not having it at all. But let's wish them both. Me personally, I wish them both well on the situation of the trial because I feel like both parents should have equal rights, equal rights when it comes to both parenting and spending quality time with their babies. But let's continue. So CJ has been very active when it comes to Snapchat. And he has just been recording his time with the babies. I mean, he has been recording his time with the baby. If you follow him on Snapchat, you will see. But his daughter, little Deja, Deja, little Deja and his and his other daughter, Kamari, they on um, when I seen it, they was just doing backflips. Like what normal kids will do. What normal kids won't do backflip, you know. And he's spending quality time with his kids, keeping them occupied, wasting their energy, as parents would do. Let the kids go outside and play. Let the kids ride their bike. Let the kids interact with one another. As long as they don't get hurt, just watch it. That they, they just don't get hurt. But you know that's what he been doing, spending time with them, snatch chapping away. And you see in that Snapchat, the little kids are doing cartwheels. I said, I think I said backflip. <laughs> no, cartwheels. But I don't know how Royce got to it. She could be following him to keep tab on the kids. Or someone could have went back and informed her. But Royce was not pleased with the snap videos of the baby Daya doing backflip. When she was doing backflip, she did not have how can i say it? she did not have pants or a t-shirt she had like a like a princess pajama like a dress like a princess pajama dress and royalty like i said got a hold of the video of the snapchat and she was not pleased me as a what and me as a woman as a mother i completely understand where she's coming from because uh, there are a lot of predators and perverts on this social media site and we have to protect our babies by all mean cause and I understand to me how I'm raised and how I will raise well not how I will raise how I raise my kids when you're wearing a dress I mean a skirt 
put shorts under it, like high shorts under it. You know, if they do any type of activities like that, put some shorts underneath or wear shorts, wear pants, because, you know, you got to protect your kids from predators. We don't know what kind of predators that are out here. So she got a hold of the Snapchat and then she had sex CJ and she told him when their daughter's doing backflip to make sure she has pants underneath. If he's recording, he just, she's like, he allegedly, he said that she said that she's just recording it for clicks and views. That there are some pervert men out there that he allegedly pay. Who, who is she talking about? I don't know. That's not here or there. But we're still going to focus on covering it. But I came in to cover it. So CJ was not pleased with the royalty text message that he say he like he had enough. He had enough with her. I may give him kind of credit. He has been offline lately, not exposing their disagreement or their co-parenting or their situation. I could give him credit. He been laying low with the situation, even though he been here and there with a lot of, you know, with what's that girl name. With Lexi, Lexi being in the mix of a lot of stuff, you understand? But he has not been on his channel giving out the ordeal or giving out, like, the currently what's taking place or what happened with the situation. He just let it dodge down. So he expressed how he's sick of being silent and he feels that the kids are with him. When they are with him, they are safe. And he won't let no one harm him or let any harm comes to those kids etc etc but one thing i dislike was from cj is if he's going to talk stuff about you know what let's continue let's continue i'll get to that when i finish covering what we gotta cover and then i bring down my thoughts and my opinion so you know he went on his channel and as he went on his channel like i said he expressed what's taking place. He expressed how he's tired of it. He expressed how he's sick of royalty telling him what to do with the kids. Blase, blase. And you see the kids in the room with him. They playing around. Deja. I, mean, I keep calling her Deja because I have a cousin named Deja. 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 You see her playing around with her brother and her father, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But he was in there as he was recording. He was talking about who uh, royalty in front of the kids. He was talking about royalty in front of the kids. And as he talked about the kids, I mean royalty in front of the kids, he says, you know, what he has to say. But you hear little CJ say, I don't like, I think he said, I don't like my mommy or I don't like royalty, whatever. He said one of them. And you see the little girl in the background say, but I like mom, I love or I like my mommy. And I'm like, I stay looking at them like what what the f what? so he persists to say oh don't say that don't say that you like your mommy and i'm like i t i completely turned it off i didn't went on let it go i turned it off first and foremost i'm gonna give him credit like i say i give him credit because why he had was doing his best staying out of the social media he was staying out of social media you know expressing the way he feel about the whole situation and if you know he got trial coming up you know they would ask both of them would have stay quiet she been quiet but on instagram she be throwing shots whatever and that's upcoming now she had two shots i feel like with cj if you know your kids are with you 24 7 and you what 24 7 out that week and you want to talk about their mom with the camera, you will place those kids with somebody that's in the house to watch them while you do a video talking about their mother. You never talk down or bad about the mother in front of the child. I don't care what you gotta say about the mother, you remove those kids out that premise to somewhere in the, around the house, keep them occupied with whoever that you have there. You will not allow yourself to continuously talk about their mother in front of their uh, front of the child because it's like you're programming them to hate or bash their mother and that's not cute because 
if she was to go online right now and do the same thing, I would be right here talking the same shit. That's something you don't do. You remove those kids out from the room. You remove those kids from whatever you're going to talk about their mother. And you place them somewhere. And you go ahead and do your video and talk the bull any bullshit you want to talk about your baby mother. Because that's y'all. But when it comes to the kids, you have to do what's best for them. It's not cute programming those kids and allowing them to hear you talk about their mother. Or even when they're around you with the adults continuously to hear you talk about their mother. And then they're going to... You know, kids are like sponge. They absorb everything that we do. They learn. Those kids, when kids, when we are born with kids and we do not, we're not born with hate. We're not born to dislike people. That's something we learn. Because we're seeing the adults that's raising us talk about people or always say, I don't like that person, et cetera, et cetera. So that's something we learn. So that's something he, to me right now. He's teaching his kids. Because that little boy should not be saying that about his mother. Because as I clearly see. Because I watch both of their channels. As I clearly see. She. Is very good with her kids. You can tell she loves her kids. I don't care because she don't have all the money. The way CJ has. And she, those kids can't explore the way. Other kids could explore it. But that's, she still showed them love. Money can't buy love. Money can't buy happiness. It's how you treat a person. How you give the person love no matter what. So when people are like, oh, but, you know, she was doing good when she had a house. Oh, oh who gives a damn? That's her. But if she choose to remove herself from whatever was not making her happy to live her life, well, she's living the way she want to live with, live it now. If it's being poor, if it's being medium class or high class, that's on her. As long as those babies are getting enough love and enough attention and enough security as a mother, that's enough. And the education, first of all, good education because kids need some good education. You know, that's on her. Same way as CJ. How he gives his kids, if that's how he gives his kids love, or let it be. This kids are, if they feel like it's love. But at the end of the day, bashing the kid mother in front of the kids is not cute. But I know he's sick and tired of, you know, of how she communicate with him. I feel like, now let's go to Royce. I feel like she needs to learn how to, if she's always aggressive and if she's always with attitude or whatever, she has to fix what's making her miserable. She has to fix what's giving her attitude. By all means, she's a mother. So if she sees something she don't like about the child, she's going to talk about it. She's going to bring it to his attention. But I feel like her delivery, the way she delivered the text message or how she's talking to him, I think they need to work on it more because co-parenting for 18 plus years it is going to be hellhole between them two and especially if they don't got a solid middle man, a middle man that is able to you know keep a good communication or keep bringing those kids to him and then the kids to her that could be solid it's going to be hellhole for both of them because she can't stand him and he can't stand her that's how I feel. And it's sad because the kid, the babies are in the middle. And if it goes for her, did she bash a CJ in front of the kids? Shame on her because, like I say, you do not teach our kids that. You don't talk about your the kid's parent, the mother or the father, horribly in front of no kids. You remove those kids. Those kids are happy for the energy. And now when she says about, you know, if you're going to put them on social media, make sure they have pants on. And it's clearly understandable because, come on, social media is full of child predator, perverts, etc., etc. Nowadays on social media, not even the kids are safe because people talk bad about the kids. People tarnish the kid's name at a young age. It could be teenagers, mid, um, young kids. And it's sickening. It's sickening. People be like, now, oh, kids are off limit. I mean, kids are not off limit. That's on y'all, but how I was raised, kids are fucking off limit. I will not entertain no foolery when it comes to kids. And if, listen, whoever out here talking nasty, disgusting about any kid or any teenager or any child, it goes to show your character as a person because to me all kids should be off limit 
all kids should be protected. Talk about their parents. Don't talk about the child. But like I said, people are different from me. So I don't have too much to say on that part. But I agree with what she said. Protect the babies all costs. Just put some pants on. That's it. But CJ and Royce are trying to do their best with co-parenting. But clearly you can see it's not happening. And clearly you can see when they go to trial, it's going to be another fuss. Until the judge gets hired and make his final decision. And they both going to have to stick to it. And that's how it's going to happen. But other than that, it's early in the morning as you hear the motorcycles in the background. Just got up to this commentary. You can hear my voice sound a little bit different. But, but I had to give y'all this commentary. Maybe when y'all hear this commentary, it's nighttime, going to nighttime or evening, whenever. But I had to get up to do it before I go, start my day, go to work. I just had to get my thoughts and my opinion on this whole situation. I feel like they both need to come to comment. A common agreement when it comes to co-parenting a better way. Communication should be a lot better. You understand? Bashing each other for what? You know, by all means, protect the babies. Protect the babies. Put the babies to safety, you know. Protect them from these people around this world. Because, like I say, you don't know the people behind these computers. You don't know these people behind, you know, social media we don't know you know we don't know their mental state you gotta protect your kids by all mean costs that's how i feel but that's my thoughts and my opinion like i said your thoughts and your opinion on this novel are truly welcome on the comments down below let me know i don't care what side you rock for i don't care you can let me know how y'all feel, like I said. But just keep it cute or not, you just get the boot. Remember, keep it cute or you get the boots. Other than that, I'm out to the next video.